All right, this is the last video in this string of videos that I'm filming all on the same day, you can say, because my dress has not changed at all. And I wanted to do this one as a video by itself because it's a really big one. And it is uh, books I picked up from the A1 comic sale just before Christmas. Um, this might have been... I don't think they did one on Christmas Eve. It might have been Christmas Eve. Um, but it was right before the holiday. And so there's some really cool stuff in here. Um, we got a big old heavy box. Um, trying to see if it shows how much it weighs, but this is a priority, so. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. And I want to be careful, there are some higher dollar books in here, most of which ideally I would like to keep in the PC. I'm not sure if I'm going to get them slabbed. I want to look at them in person to see about that. Let's see here. Of course, with A1, you always do pay a little bit of a premium because of course, you know, there are a, a store, and so, um, but what I like is I know everything is going to be shipped incredibly well, and I trust the grading that they put on their books, and I think that's really worth, you know, paying what a dealer would ask for. You know, everyone wants to make a little bit of a you know, profit, especially when it's your livelihood, and that's understandable. So, me. Now, part of this is a Spidey mystery box. And so, oh, packing peanuts. Packing peanuts. Ah, me. I need to pick these up before the cats get to them. Eventually, um, I'm going to have a better setup. Um, I'm probably moving in the first part of, probably the first half of next year. And so hopefully I can have a little bit more of a dedicated uh, space for YouTube as I'd really like to kind of hone uh, the channel and my editing. But right now, this just kind of like I'd love, I just want to throw up some videos show people what I got going on. All right. So we have the A1 custom mystery box. Now I think all the other books I ordered are gonna be in here too, which is definitely the smart way to pack. Makes total sense. And I'm gonna go ahead and Okay, and we'll close up the mystery box. Box. There's always a use for these, whether it's a ship out uh, a large number of books to someone else. And got a whole bunch of books in here still. Gonna open this up. This bag is pretty. This is a ASM $50 mystery box. Of course, they do say it's $100 in retail value, which is important to keep in mind because again it is you know uh, retail store prices but I don't think you can really go wrong with any type of ASM book um, whether it's for your personal collection like mine are for or for um, resale for yourself and so I'm gonna go ahead and start with 
um, some of the books that I know are in here. And here we go. We have an ASM 94. They have this at a 4.5. I picked this up for $25. Um, I am a beetle collector, I guess. I've always thought the, the suits were pretty cool. And so I have a very like 0.5 copy of his first appearance. Uh, I believe from Astonishing Tales, maybe. Um, and then this is a early Beatles appearance in Amazing Spider-Man. You can see it's the original suit where it had the kind of claw-like grip hands. And of course, Aunt May there, terrified. It's true, Aunt May at the mercy of the bloodthirsty Beatle. I think anyone that's read Spidey will kind of giggle at the idea of the Beatle being bloodthirsty or being a a foe like that. Also says Spider-Man's origin retold. So, really excited to get that. Uh, this book they have at a 4.0. And we have ASM 93. He's back. More dangerous than ever, the Prowler. Uh, Prowler, not only does it fulfill my enjoyment of collecting secondary B, C-list villains or side characters, but obviously in the MCU, um, there is a little bit of spec with Prowler because we did already see him in his civilian uh, incarnation in Homecoming. So that is um, played by Donald Glover. So will something come of that? I think if we get to a point where the Spider-Man movies are staying more within the Spider-Man universe, which it definitely seems like they may, after No Way Home, no spoilers, um, I think that'll... Sorry, the cats decided we're having a big fight. That we're having a big... They're having a big fight. <laughs> okay, and this next book... Just want to go ahead and this is one I was very excited to get. Oh, no, this is not in here. Let me see. I have a very early Electro uh, Shocker appearance, ASM 72. So, Rocked by the Shocker, a very cool cover there with the Spidey logo. Uh, Shocker, also someone we've seen in the MCU, and um, maybe come back. I don't see why not. And because I got the mystery box, they threw in, of course, the wheel spin, and my wheel spin got me an Immortal Hulk number two. I have started reading that, going back in the Marvel Universe app and reading that, and I do really like it, so I'm looking forward to getting more into that series. Now, I believe that I had a few more purchases. And I'm just going to go ahead and maybe they are in with this um, mystery box. So we will find out. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Our ASM... $50 A1 Comics Mystery Box. Will we get to $100? And I believe um, I'll try to go with eBay value on all of this. If I am not able to do that, then I will use cover price uh, fair market value, which is the other site I use, and I know believe a lot of people in the community do as well so and I believe I still have a couple more books and hopefully maybe they put it in with this mystery box um, if not I'm just gonna have to double check a few things but uh, here we go all right ASM 27 from Dan Slot's run they have a $10 price tag on here. I'll try to have the pricing 
up there. This looks like more than likely, I believe this is the post Spider Verse Dan Slot uh, issues. There were so many times that this book started over again with uh, new number ones that it kind of drives me a little bit crazy. Um, but that's great. I know that I don't have any of those, so. All right, next book, ASM number one. This is from the same, uh, this is from that same period in the Dan Slot run. So we got two from that volume of ASM. Okay, and next we have, oh! Oh, and they have this at a $4 book. But we have, and this looks like a pretty, pretty good copy. We have ASM number 10, Spider-Verse Part 2, First Appearance of Spider-Punk. That is almost the whole value of the box right there with the way that book has been selling lately. That is fantastic. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is, I don't know if they necessarily make their boxes to have like a big hit. Um, I've always said with A1 boxes, it's always best to get a character that you like and are collecting because there's never really GPs or hits. Um, it's definitely a way to move back issues that haven't been selling, but you can't go wrong with ASM. So um, that's great. I'm super happy with that. Next up. All right. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man uh, 1.5. This is from the Learning to Crawl, the Origin uh, Retold uh, miniseries part of that. I don't believe I have that issue. Um, of course, I did get a few of those if anyone watched my Half Price Books uh, issues from a while back. Then you'll see in the Half Price um, haul that I did, I did have a few of those. All right, next up, all right, what do we got here? We have ASM 348. They have a $9 price tag on this at a 7.5. Um, and there is a note on here. And it says $1.50 indication on top left quarter of cover and I'm trying to see I don't see a stamp for a dollar fifty um, I'll have to look at that closer but I do see where of course it has the normal one dollar but I don't see anything indicating a dollar fifty maybe that's indentation I'll have to look at it under a light a little bit later but that's great ASM 348 okay up next all right gang war part two they have this at eight dollars this is ASM 285 black suit spidey punisher cover Big old bazooka. Can't go wrong with this. All right, next. All right, what do we got here? ASM 165. They have a $6 value on this. We have a sturgeon. The dinosaur man has restored the skeletons to life. All right, awesome. A sturgeon issue. That's always going to make me happy. Okay, so next. All right. Uh, $7 value on this. This is ASM. You have the sticker over the pray, over the issue. 167 So a issue featuring the Spider Slayers. And I need to flip over. I saw one of the books. And I'm going to pull this up. All right. ASM looks like it would be 181, but let me double check. Yep, 181, the pain and the power. 
Um, I saw this issue sold on Whatnot a few days ago. There were some chipping along the top there. That's totally fine. The rest of the cover presents great. Obviously, some amazing floating head. Lizard, Doctor Doom, Doc Ock, and Kingpin. And new stand. So super cool. Great cover. Okay. And... All right, uh, ASM one ninety five. They have eight dollars on that. A uh, whole bunch of stuff happening here. Peter getting slapped by Betty Brant right across the face. You got Aunt May drama, Black Cat, and classic Spider Man trapped under a bunch of rubble. All right, next up, okay, uh, ASN 208, Fusion, the Twin Terror. Okay, and I think I saw what this, oh, we still have two more books. There's so much value in this for $50, like, clearly, yeah, I would say 100 bucks here at least. Um, just because so many of these Spidey issues, um, most of them at least go for $5. And with that um, Spider-Verse Part 2, that's already a $35, $45 dollar book at the moment. And probably only going to go up because that's a pretty logical uh, character to have in Spider-Verse. So, the, yeah, the, I, the super value in this. I'm so happy. Easily this is the best A1 mystery box I've gotten so far. Um, let me go ahead. One, two, three. Okay. Um, I know I don't have this. This is the last, um, part of the Pursuit storyline. This is when Peter is going after the chameleon for creating those, I guess, life model decoys of his parents. And I saw this last one. It is one of the issues with the jury. Um, you know, minor villains from the Lethal Protector series. And so that is all that. Now, there were a few Spidey books that I thought I purchased, and I'm going to need to maybe double check my invoice, which I should have. Let me see. Okay, let's see. ASM. Yeah. Now there is a ASM 78, which is the first appearance of Prowler, as well as an ASM 56, which is a Doc Ock cover that I still need to get in the mail. And I will reach out to A1 and ask them about that. Hey everyone, so this is an update, which you can probably tell because I'm filming it on my phone in portrait mode. So I reached out to A1 Comics because of my last video about my A1 purchase from Christmas week. I thought they were two pretty expensive uh, ASM books that I could not find. Well, as it turns out, that's my fault because they packaged it so well. Um, it was actually hidden under some cardboard, uh, secured even more tightly within the mystery box. I didn't check. I thought it was just padding, but actually there were incredible books hidden under there. And so let me show you real quick. Um, this is ASM 56, a classic Doc Ock cover. They have this at a 6.5. Um, this is definitely going to be going to CGC. Um, I'm going to make sure I get it cleaned and pressed and set off because I, all these classic Spideys that I get in really anything above like a six, six and above, gonna get it cleaned and pressed and get it on the wall. Um, this is just such a great cover. Spidey joins Doc Ock. Um, 
12 cent Spider-Man. It looks really good. There's definitely some spine ticks. I'm too terrified to look through the pages at the moment, but yeah, amazing. No pun intended. And the other book I have that I mentioned on the video, and I've already gone ahead and put this in a spare top loader that I have. They have this also at a 6.0, and it is uh, ASM 78, first appearance of The Prowler. Um, awesome cover. I love how big um, Spidey and The Prowler are drawn there. They take up almost the whole page. Um, I love when it um, covers up, interacts with the logo a little bit. Um, super great. I'm incredibly happy with these purchases. Um, this is definitely also going to go off to CGC after getting it cleaned and pressed at one of my local shops. So I just want to, again, um, I'm definitely going to edit the previous video to insert this in and say A1 always does an amazing job with their packaging. Their live sales are great. That mystery box was impeccable. And thank you all for tuning into this video and I will see you on the next one.